Well, I guess you clicked on my video and you want to know what steep skateboards are like. So first, let's compare a steep skateboard to a medium kick skateboard. Right there, can you see that space between the nose and tail? So that's like a good few degrees. Should you even get a steep kick deck? Because they take a lot of energy to skate. And if you don't have the strength to skate a steep kick deck, you're going to wind up with a lot of ghost pop. So ghost pop, as you can see, is when your nose or tail doesn't hit the ground. And that can be caused by having trucks or wheels that are too tall. It can be caused by having kicks that are too steep or a combination of both. First, what is a steep kick board good for? Well, the short answer is pop. This deck is the 8 inch Tom Asta Power Ply Santa Cruz for those who are wondering. Now, while my tricks may get more popped and some of them look really rad, it does come at a cost. What I find is that my consistency goes to about half. I also find that I get way more tired in the session. So tired. I also find manuals more difficult. Because I find that the balance point is not quite so broad. It's this one point and you have to get your foot in the right spot. Now, the way to make manuals work a bit better is to not have it so much in the pocket, but have your foot maybe a quarter inch closer that way. So just bring your foot out a bit and that will improve the manual on a steep deck. Now let's get into the strategy for skating a deck with really steep kicks. So if any of you remember the video where I told you how to skate a deck with mellow kicks, and that was by sliding your foot in closer to the pocket and popping further in. So on steep decks, you need to be out, like almost on the edge of the tail. And that can feel pretty weird if you're not used to it. It also widens your stance. The other thing you need to do when you're standing on a deck with really steep kicks is you actually need to lean back more. So you need to put more of your weight on your back leg and get ready to kick down really hard. And what you will find is if you can get used to leaning back and kicking down harder is you're going to get a lot more yield out of the board. And hopefully you have young enough legs to carry you through that session and not crap out halfway through like I sometimes do. I'm tired. I want to go home. When I was younger, I actually preferred decks just like this because I could get so much pop on them and I never got tired from skating them. Another unique thing that I personally get out of steep boards is I get more life out of my shoes. So when I was skating these Lakais last week on a deck that was flat, the kicks were medium, grip tape was starting to wear out, my kickflips were like hating life. But now that I've got this nice steep new deck, I'm finding I'm easily going to get another week or two of life out of these shoes without having to just give up on kickflips. They also feel pretty good on transition in that your feet feel pretty locked in on end to end, like it's not going to slide off one end or the other. However, one of the downsides is it makes it a little bit harder to pull back in on say a fakey disaster or a frontside rock. It's still doable, it's just noticeably more effort. Also, not every steep kick deck is going to feel as steep. So this one is on the far end of the spectrum in that it has a wide wheelbase and steep kicks. However, if I had this same deck with a 14 inch wheelbase, it would feel totally different. It would feel more like a medium kick. So the 14.3 wheelbase exaggerates the feeling of the steep kicks. I love skating medium to medium tall ledges on steep kick decks. Although I do notice I lose a little bit of control. So for example, switch frontside tail slides for some reason. I'm just not having them on this deck. Switch backside on the other hand still works. And that leads me more specifically into backside tricks. For some reason, I love a steep kick deck for backside tricks. Another thing I love a steep kick board for is launching tricks. However, there is an issue of timing and I want to show you guys these switch heel flips to emphasize this. This is a step up I skate all the time. And whenever I skate a mellower deck, I have my switch heel flips pretty locked. So here I am trying it on the steep deck. For 
freakishly, I actually landed the first one when that mom was in the way, but then I really struggled with them for the other few tries. Next, let's try this real deck, which is half an inch wider. I have half inch wider trucks, two millimeter bigger wheels, and it's just a generally huger board, but the kicks are super mellow and my consistency goes up. The reason that's happening is timing. So that's actually a pretty short step up and because the tail is so steep, I'm kind of getting ghost pop and I'm not able to level my board out properly. It messes me up every time. However, let's go to this other part of the ramp that is a foot and a half longer and all of a sudden I don't have any issues. So as long as I have a little bit more length on the launches, I love doing me some fatty to flatty stuff on a steep kick deck. So that's what I like about steep decks and that's what I don't like about steep decks. And I want to hear your opinions in the comments, guys. Tell me what you like, what truck combos you like it with, what works for you. Let me know. Okay, now I want to show you guys my favorite new sweatshirt. So this was sent to me by Gold Blade Labs and I'm pretty stoked on it. Get on. It's not actually that tight. Anyways, I think it's pretty sweet. I actually wish I got it like two weeks earlier so I could have been wearing it with the diamond collab girl board because it would have looked awesome. But guys, if you're interested in this sweatshirt or you want to see what other gear Goldblade Labs has, check it out. I'll link it in the description and there it is in the wordy thingies right there somewhere. But I'm pretty stoked on it. It's my new favorite sweatshirt. I wish it wasn't May and warm all the time, but at least I can wear it in the mornings and the evening. I love new clothes, you guys. And I'm like a father of four that has zero time to go clothes shopping. So if anybody wants to see their clothes on my channel, hit me up on Instagram, let me know. I might be interested in wearing it. But it will only get on if I think it's super sweet. So thanks for watching, you guys. That's what steep decks are about. And now you watch me blab about my new favorite sweatshirt. And now I'm just talking. Also, guys, I've been kind of abusing you at the end of the videos, yelling at you, telling you to do things and not do things. But you know what I wanna say? I wanna say thank you. So breaking character here. I'm really appreciative of everybody who's been following the channel for this long. It's been two years. I meant to do a happy two years of the channel. I never did. So it's been two years. We just hit 20,000 subs. It's been a slow, long go. But I've been loving it. I love the support from you guys and I'm really excited for what this year is going to bring. So thanks for watching. Thank you for contributing to the channel. Thank you for being a part of it in the comments. You guys stoke me as much as hopefully you're getting stoked by the channel. So thanks for watching and until the next video. And that leads me more specifically into backside tricks. For some reason I love a steep kick deck for backside tricks.